Hi guys. Okay, welcome to this week's How To Tuesday. Um, we are gonna have, well, lots and lots of fun. I have pulled so many different mediums. Uh, as usual, you do not have to use any of them. You can do what you'd like to do. But I'm just gonna do a brief overview. I have uh, several different types of acrylic paint. I just grab colors, stuff that I like. This is the Golden High Flow Acrylic Paint, which is super fun. I don't know if you know this, but those little stripes here show the when you where however they stripe it, it'll tell you how the opacity of the paint. Like this one's a little bit darker and thicker and more more coverage, so that's darker, more op opaque, and this one's translucent. Um, then I just have regular Amsterdam acrylic, Deco Art, just my fun colors. I grabbed my um, Uniposca paint pens, which I'm kind of obsessed with lately, especially these big beefy ones. Oh my goodness, they're just so fun. So I have those. And then I grabbed, because I haven't played with these in a while, I grabbed my water soluble Neo Color Cron Dash crayons. Let me open these if I can open them. For those of you who haven't seen them, they work like a crayon. Their colors are super pigmented, but they also are water soluble. I do both. And you can activate the pigment with, um, I use gesso a lot of the time. You can also use water, anything that's a water. You can use another acrylic paint, but typically I use water or gesso, mostly gesso, white gesso. You could also use clear gesso and play with that as well. And it activates beautifully. Um, you can get it to smooth out completely, or you can get it to where you can see some of the strokes from the crayons. It's how your aesthetic, however you choose to use it. And there's, in this one, there's 126. I can't seem to find this one anywhere anymore. It's usually the next step down, which, I think is like 40 something. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. But whatever I can find, I'll link in the description box. But there's three trays, and these last a very long time. I've had them for a long time, and I'm having a blast with them. But they work just like a crayon. They sharpen like a crayon. It's awesome. And then I have, um, I grabbed some erasers. I grabbed some charcoal, General's black and white charcoal. I just found these bad boys. These are, they're new. They're neon Prismacolor pencils. This is Rose. Ja, I can't read that. Sauna, Jana, I'm not sure. And then orange, um, those colors. And then I also grabbed my Carbonzello chalk pastel pencils. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do a portrait, except I'm gonna do a little different. It's totally out of my wheelhouse. I'm going to do it without blending the paint. So it's gonna be thick and chunky strokes, which is not my normal aesthetic. I am a very blendy kind of girl. <laughs> I like to blend my mediums that I work well with. I'm not to say that I won't default and do some blending, but it's going to be abstract. It's going to be a little wonky, but it's going to be bright and bold, lots of color. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to go from there. Think blendy, not blendy. We're going to think bold marks, bold marks. You're going to remember where your highlights are, like on the cheekbones, on the brow bones, or, you know, on the tip of the nose, on the forehead, on the top of the lip, the chin, the things that protrude from the face more than the rest. Those are the parts that are capture the light. So you could use those as white. Oh, I forgot to grab my gesso. And also my Liquitex acrylic gesso. You could use, if your color palette's mostly dark, you can use this as your light highlights. It's up to you, truly. And you'll see what I do. Um, again, out of my wheelhouse, completely. Am I terrified? Absolutely. <laughs> am I still going to do it? Yes, I am, because I want to play. And I've seen work like this, and I've always wanted to try it. I'm totally attracted to it, because once again, it's abstract. Once again, it's pushing me out of my comfort zone. So I'm going to do that with you today as well. And I hope that you guys play along and be brave and play and push yourself too. Okay, so thanks for being here. If you like your How-To Tuesdays or the How-To Tuesdays, please like and subscribe and click the bell. Um, you click that bell, you get personal notifications when my next video goes up as well. If you would, please join us over at Next Generation Art on Facebook. It's my private community where um, I have three weekly prompts and we play and have a lot of fun. Okay, you guys, so thanks for being here. Let's get started.
Okay guys, I finished and holy cow, that was Carrie. I was scared to start. It was really hard not to blend. Really, really hard not to blend. And I kind of started doing it here and I'm like, no, no, pull back, pull back. So, yeah. But with all of that being said and done, <laughs> I freaking love this. I will be doing it again and again and again. I almost suggest, had I known what I was gonna do or what it was like to do this, I would start with like four smaller pieces and then just go to town, draw out four different faces really quick and then just whatever colors, just throw them down, throw them down, throw them down. You saw what I did. I did kind of control it and try to have a light and a dark so that I had like the light was hitting this side and the shadow was hitting this side and the ear. So I did try, but also with something like this, it's not perfect and nor does it have to be perfect. It is not something that needs to be um, controlled. It's just part of your story, however you choose to tell your story, okay? Oh, I love this. I hope you guys do it. Please do it, please do it, please do it. That was so much fun. All right, thank you for being here. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.